Just because something's natural doesn't mean it's not dangerous. There's all kinds of toxic stuff inside crude oil. And oil spills happen in water all the time, all over the world. The deep water horizon disaster was the one in recent memory that was the biggest, and that is a huge ecological problem and many billions of dollars that were wasted in trying to clean up this tragedy. For days and weeks, you see this video of oil just coming out of this broken pipe. And the idea of just getting something underwater and being able to put it around it act as a containment unit was uh, very appealing but there currently are no known technologies for cleaning up oil that's below the surface. And so that's the particular problem that the Coast Guard wanted to try to tackle. So there are all kinds of materials out there that can soak up oil, some of them really, really well. Most of them are not reusable. What we wanted to do is have a, a sponge, basically, like your kitchen sponge that you can just soak up oil, squeeze it out, and go get more. The material that we start with is polyurethane foam, which is what I'm sitting on right now on this chair. Most uh, furniture cushions and all kinds of other things are made out of polyurethane foam. It's manufactured on a scale of hundreds of millions of tons a year. But the problem with polyurethane foam for this application is that it doesn't soak up oil very well, and it also soaks up a lot of water. So what we've done is we've developed technologies to change the chemistry on the surface of the foam so that it loves oil and hates water. The technique we're using is sequential infiltration synthesis, or SIS, which was invented here at Argonne. The technique allows for the synthesis of inorganic materials such as metal oxides within polymers. Here, we're using it to introduce suitable binding sites for oleophilic or oil-loving compounds, which allows the foam to absorb oil. The idea came from some previous work that we had done using nanotechnology on polymer materials. So we found that we could change the surface properties of polymers by chemically treating them. And we tried initially a couple of experiments in a lab, and it was very successful. Uh, and we thought, OK, this is a great, uh, we need to pursue further. To be able to actually pull this off, you've got to have really intimate control over the chemistry on the surface at the, at the interface between the foam and, and the surrounding world. And that's not something that was really possible until relatively recently. What we are showing is a prototype system. And it is, uh, in fact, working very nicely. We can clean the oil and extract the oil many, many times. Usually when you absorb oil from a spill, what you do is you burn that sorbent that's got all the oil inside it, which of course has all kinds of negative environmental impacts. The beauty of the type of sorbent that we have developed is that you can reuse the, the oil or diesel fuel or whatever petroleum product you've captured, and you can also reuse the sorbent. The initial tests were successful, but it was on a very small scale and under very controlled conditions. And then we went out to Omset and you know treated them pretty rough uh, through harsh week of testing. The biggest new challenge was to see whether we could absorb oil droplets, which were underwater. It's difficult to produce these droplets, so it, it required these special nozzles, which had been designed at Omset. So this was really the first time that we had tried underwater droplets in seawater with our foam. So up to this point, the only environment that this, this foam had ever seen was a laboratory, a nice warm indoor environment. When we got to home, said it was cold, salt water. Uh, it was quite intense, comparatively speaking. So going into the test, we didn't know if it was going to work at all. We stuck this big array of foam down under the water, and it sat in that cold, salty water overnight before we even tried the first test. So this stuff is saturated with salt water at that point. Then you expose it to this cloud of oil for some time and pull it out and squeeze it and see what you got. And you know, there was definitely some tension, you know, that first time through the ringer, what, what's gonna come out of this? Is it just gonna be salt water or are we actually gonna get some oil? And you could just see right away that this thing was it was working, you were getting oil out. And now that we've gotten back the, the lab numbers from Omset where they really quantified exactly how much oil and water was pulled out by the, both our sorbent and the, and the benchmark materials that we tested against, yeah, we see no statistically significant change in the performance from one test to the next. It just keeps working. The thin film coating technology that I've been involved with for the last 15 years is one that has a lot of applications in things like semiconductors and photovoltaics, areas that are of technological relevance for making devices. But there's something completely different about an application for technology which is going to do something directly beneficial to the environment. I think 
this technology is already at a point where you can think about getting it out there in the field with just a little bit more development using our existing chemistry, but there is absolutely room for optimizing it even further. We just need to demonstrate maybe different application. For example, in this case it's oil, in other case probably mineral extractions. Uh, there are a variety of applications. To target, you know, particular crude oils, maybe with a little bit higher selectivity even than what we have so far. And we could even start designing chemistries to target other pollutants in water. But there's also improvement to be had in the foam itself. We literally ordered it from a catalog, uh, not having access to a, a wide library of foams or the, or the kind of knowledge to know which formulation would be best. Um, but I think if we partner with a company that manufactures these polymers, then we can make them even better. Crude oil itself is, is quite nasty. And the idea that we could introduce a new tool for the people who have to clean these things up is so very appealing to us. To me, we have a responsibility to make an impact if we can. And there are different ways that a scientist or engineer can have an impact. And one of those is developing technological solutions to the challenges that we face as a society. So we worked on a lot of technologies over the years that you know have potential commercial applications. But many times, it's you know, way down the road. You're at a real early stage of the technology readiness. This one is a little bit different, that it's, it's down the road already a little bit. And I think that with a, you know, a good commercial partner that can develop ways to manufacture this at scale, this is the kind of thing that could see use in, a, you know, in an operational real world setting not too far in the future.